The knee pain um, was gradually getting worse. I was unable to do everyday things as the pain got worse. Hoovering I had to hand over to my husband to his delight. Um, standing um, at the sink, just doing the simple tasks of washing up, etc. Going up and down stairs, especially going downstairs, was particularly difficult. And I used to sit and work out when someone suggested going somewhere, can I make it? Um, is it going to be painful? What are, you know, are there any steps involved, etc., etc. And, you know, nine times out of ten, you, you would say no, or I would say no, because it was in the too difficult tray. Osteoarthritis is very prevalent. It's said that at any uh, one year, about one million people are seeking their general practitioner advice for osteoarthritis of the knee. The symptoms of osteoarthritis uh, of the knee are pain and stiffness, but particularly pain. Patients usually start with complaint of pain on activities such as walking or going up and down stairs, but as the disease progress, they may even get rest pain and complain of night pain. But once we've exhausted all the conservative measures and patients are complain of significant pain, we then discuss knee replacement with them. Patients' expectations on knee replacement had changed dramatically over the last few years. Knee replacements have always lagged behind hip replacements as far as outcomes are concerned until recently. And patients are now seeing their friends and family having very successful outcomes with a knee replacement and they've been able to return to hobbies such as playing golf and tennis without any pain. And patients are now coming in asking us for a knee replacement so that they're able to be more pain free and return to their previous hobbies. I think patient expectations are much higher now. We have younger patients coming into the system getting knee replacements. So uh, getting back to activities like uh, managing the stairs no problem, cycling, hill walking. It's really important to get good range of movement in their knee if they're going to be able to get back to these activities after they've had their surgery. So um, that's really why we need to see prosthesis available that offer patients that um, ability after they've had their surgery. Whilst total knee replacement is a very successful procedure, Research has demonstrated that between 10 and 20% of patients are not completely satisfied, citing limited mobility as their key reason. These patients are reminded of their total knee replacement every day during their struggle and their daily activities, such as stair climbing, inclines and getting out of chairs. Armed with this knowledge, Depusynthes reinforced its commitment to patient care by developing a brand new knee system aiming to improve the quality of life of patients and improve stability and motion. Hence the Attune Knee System is the result of more than six years of extensive research to address the unmet needs of patients, surgeons and providers. The Pew Synthes Joint Reconstruction took an extensive approach to the research and development of the Attune Knee System. We worked not only with our large surgeon team but also global thought leaders from academia and industry and that work led to a number of scientific breakthroughs that have been presented at international congresses and peer-reviewed journals. The objective of the research process was to understand the causes of patient dissatisfaction. Once we understood those causes, we were able to develop innovative solutions to address those unmet clinical needs. The research process showed us that with traditional designs, small changes in the implant geometry could lead to important changes in the way that a patient moved. That led to the key technologies of the Attune knee system. Attune's gradius curve is a patented, gradually reducing femoral radius that provides patients with optimum stability throughout their range of motion. Our kinematic research showed us that we needed to look differently at posterior stabilised knees and look at the way in which the spine and cam interact uh, and also their interaction with the soft tissue. The soft cam technology is designed to work with the femoral geometry and also the patient's soft tissue to provide them with optimum stability through the range of motion. With traditional fixed bearing knee designs, it's necessary for there to be some compromise in the way in which the femur moves on top of the tibia in order to account for the difference in the size of those bones. Logic Lock removes the necessity for that compromise and allows us to design the optimal solutions for gradius and soft cam that deliver patient stability in motion. The more common problems that patients have after knee replacements is anterior knee pain. Our research showed that if we 
accounted for patient variation and soft tissue interaction, we could reduce the risk of that anterior knee pain. And so glide right articulation is designed to do that, uh, giving patients appropriate conformity and constraint through their range of motion. The Attune products first and foremost developed for the patient, but any medical device um, has to interact with a lot of people before it even gets to the patient. So we wanted to make sure we developed a product that met the needs of the surgeon, that met the needs of the scrub team and sterilisation team, and also met the needs of the provider, all with the goal of delivering care more efficiently. At the Pure Synthes Joint Reconstruction, we know that good design is about more than just making things look good. And so we partnered with the people who trained the designers of some of the most ergonomic and functional consumer products. We partnered with the Helen Hamlin Centre of Design at the Royal College of Art in London. We listened to the needs of the people who use our products, but in addition to that, we also observed those same people using our products in a technique called ethnography. And through that technique, we were able to uncover needs and challenges that those people hadn't been able to articulate previously. Now, we know that there's pressure in hospitals to do things quicker and faster with less resource, and we wanted to try and use that new knowledge, those insights, to help to deliver that. The insights we gained through this research process helped us uncover unmet user needs. And it was those unmet use of needs that we used to drive the development of the instrument system. This instrument system reduces the physical burden on the hospital staff by having a greatly reduced weight compared to our predicate instrument systems. The system is also designed to be clear. And through high contrast markings and features such as red touch points for the surgeon, we believe we have made these instruments more intuitive to use so that now the surgeon can focus on doing the surgery rather than having to worry about how to work the instruments. We also set accuracy and robustness goals for the instruments and tested them heavily against those targets. The result is a unique set of instruments, the Intuition Instrument System. And this system, in combination with the Attune implant, allows the surgeon to balance the soft tissues and have precise control over the implant position for the best fit for each and every patient. I've learnt about Attune from a number of sources. One of the advantages of being an e-specialist, you can keep up to date with the literature and latest innovations. I chose the tune for Mr. Sterling because I was impressed by the theory behind the, the, the tune prosthesis. Mr. Sterling is a very active lady with high demand and I was comfortable using this new prosthesis and I thought this would benefit her. My experience of a tune was just what I expected. The instrumentation was very clear and straightforward to use. The functionality on the table was excellent and her recovery was very quick and straightforward. I believe the tune knee replacement is meeting the expectation of both the patient and the surgeon. From the surgical point of view, the instrumentation is simple to use. The cuts, are, I feel, are much more accurate and the check x-rays shows the alignment is much better than I experienced with previous knee replacements. I also believe that the, the change in design of the femoral part of the component stops this mid-range instability and this is when I test it on the table and also in patients in the clinic. From the patient's point of view, uh, the outcomes, the early outcomes seem to be extremely good and the patients seem to be satisfied with the tune prosthesis. My life now is a, has turned a complete circle. Um, I'm able to travel, which I love doing. I love playing with the grandchildren. Um, I'm back golfing again. All the things that I thought perhaps I wouldn't be able to do anymore because of the pain and all the restrictions, I'm now able to do and I've just found my life back again.